Okay, today I will be serging a Nikki Baby butterfly fitted. I have the diaper completely prepped. So I've got my snaps already on. I've got all of my blind elastic done. This has front, back, and leg elastic. The reason I chose the Nikki Baby is as you can see, you've got very, very tight curves. As you look at my diaper, you'll see that I have pins placed on the inside well away from where the serger will hit to keep this from shifting around. And you could also do a little bit of glue. You could glue your layers together if you wanted to get them to stay together that way. I always start my serging on the piece that's going to be hidden so that you can't see the finished serging when you're done. So this is my first time serging one on this serger, so hopefully it doesn't get me any issues. Okay, so this is just the back edge, so I'm just going to zoom through it. And I have a quarter inch seam allowance on this pattern, so I'm trimming off that quarter inch as I go. When you get to your elastic, you're going to stretch your elastic all the way out, and I use the side of my uh, pressure foot against the edge of my three-step zigzag elastic, and that gives me the perfect distance from my edge to get a nice ruffle. Okay, you'll notice as I'm doing it, I'm as I'm going through my curves, I'm aiming for the blade. Actually, I'm aiming for a little bit in front of the blade because I want it to turn. Once it gets past the blade and to the needles, the machine should keep the fabric pretty straight. So when you're going into a curve, you push the fabric up into it. I'm not feeding my hand back here at all. I'm just doing the front. And you feed it into it. And you may have to stretch this portion of the fabric. I got that done enough that I can take my pin out. You may have to stretch this portion of the fabric to get this to go down where you want it to go. So stretch, stretch, stretch. Go slow if you have to. There's nothing wrong with going slow. Okay, so I have this matched up about as good as I can here in the corners. It's very important that you get it as matched up as you can on the edges. This, a straight line here and this is a straight line here. So it's just this that's going to cause problems. And what we're going to do is I'm going to surge a little farther. And as we're getting close to this, what we're going to do is we're literally going to stretch this out. And this is the same thing you do for any inner curves. You're going to stretch this out. Make sure when you stretch it out, verify that your layers really are tacked together. Um, with the butterfly fitted, you have your elastic right by that curve, so that helps hold it together when you're doing this. So you're going to want to stretch it as far out as you can until you've got it into as straight of a line as you can. And run it through. It does take a little bit of manhandling. That's okay. There we go. So now it's just surging like a regular corner. Okay, so now we're doing the push the fabric up to get it to go into the pressure foot and the blade. And this whole time I'm aiming for the blade. Do not aim for the needles. It's kind of a gut instinct to aim for the needles since you're used to sewing on a regular sewing machine. And just make sure that your pins that are holding your layers together are well out of the way. Every once in a while I'll verify that my inner and outer layers are bunched up enough. And if you don't cut off enough of the seam allowance, it's okay. It'll still fit fine. You'll see there's a few spots there where I didn't cut off as much. And I do tend to have a hand back here just to help guide because it helps me pull the fabric down. So all you're doing, you're guiding the fabric into it. So now we're going to do the same thing. I have another one of these tight curves. So surge till you're close. And then you're going to stretch it as straight as you can. And it can be kind of hard. And I'm kind of, you'll see I'm kind of using my fingers to push this forward. Okay. So, of course, you don't want to cut yourself, so make sure you remove your finger before you get to it. But I'm going to use my finger to hold that straight. There we go. We're now out of the curve. So go ahead and surge around again. I already marked the spots for my snaps. I'll recheck to make sure that's proper marking when I'm done. I just like to do that because it makes sure that I'm actually lining my, my 
diaper up correctly because sometimes when you're surging your wings won't end up the exact same shape. It does happen. So it's better to be safe than sorry and already have a forewarning of where you're going to be putting this mat. Okay, so same thing, surge until you get close. I like to stop with my blade down because I feel like it helps stop the fabric from shifting as much. Okay, so we're going to straighten it out. So and I'm just bunching this fabric all the way up back there and pushing this as straight as I can. And like I said, this was all lined up when I did the elastic. I pinned it in place when I did the elastic so it wouldn't shift. You can also glue that spot and let it dr let, make sure you let it dry if you do glue because that'll hold it better. Okay, so I got it all straight. Okay, and that's the curve. So curves that aren't as dramatic, you do basically the same way. I'm just not going to have to stretch it as far, but you do stretch it as tight as you can. You stretch it as straight as you can get it. Because the serger only surges straight. Once it gets past that needle, you're surging straight fabric, whether it's stretched or not. Okay, so we're going around our second wing now. I like to remove my pins before I, when I get to them just because then they don't poke my hand. And once they've done their job, you don't need them in there. Okay, remove that so I don't poke myself. So once again, you're pushing the fabric into the way of the surgery. And that's how you get the, the tightest curves, the best turning to your, your surging is when you are, you have to manipulate the fabric. Don't expect the fabric just to go where you want it to go. The sewing machine, it tends to just kind of go. Okay, so same thing here. Because I'm getting closer, I'm going to get a little closer. Okay, so as you're watching, I'll do it one more time. This is the last curve of this diaper. Get all the clip threads out. So once again, we're going to straighten it as straight as we can. We want it to be like it's a flat piece of fabric, even though it's actually a turn. So I like to use my finger to hold that in place. I'm going to put my pinky there. Okay, and so I now have a straight piece of fabric. Feed it through. Make sure to remove your finger. There we go. That was the last inside curve. And that is the exact same way I would do it for... A curve that wasn't as dramatic. This just kind of shows you the extreme. And then, round off my edge, surge over a touch, and surge off. Okay, so we now have a Nikki baby fitted, and you'll see that I have nicely. Oops, cut a thread. I have nice. This is this is the best one on this one. I have nicely uh, curved leg or curved corners. And there we go. That is how I surge a Nikki Baby butterfly fitted.